Hey, how you doing there again, folks? Megan, of course, Brandon Wenzel, come back at you with another offering off of my sampler platter. Yes, indeed, folks, the series of videos that I've been doing for a little while now, where I go over there, I try out food and drink items. Uh, usually not from within my truck, but if you've watched any of my other reviews, a lot of times I do it from my truck if I just got the item and I just want to go over there and do the thing right now and all the stuff. And what's the stuff you say? Well, I go over there, I try the stuff, I talk about things, it's a whole thing. So what am I trying for you today, folks? Well, folks, today, as I alluded to in what will hopefully be my previous video, we'll see how things go, uh, this is going to be a part two Valentine's Day special, uh, or at least close to Valentine's Day. I don't know exactly how I'm going to space them out. Maybe I'll do one the day before and one the day of. Whatever! And, uh, yeah, so I've got a couple of romantically uh, geared confectionaries from Hostess, our friends at Hostess, with the Twinkie and such. And, uh, yeah, saw these over at 7-Eleven today. I figured, what the hell, this is exactly the type of thing that I do because somebody has to eat shit from 7-Eleven? At some point in time, I should, like, contact 7-Eleven and be like, Hey, 7-Eleven, I eat a lot of your things. Sometimes I do videos. <laughs> oh, you should give me some money. I'm joking, folks. But if somebody would like to give me some money, who knows, maybe I'll find some way to go over there and monetize this, because right now it's just costing me money. <laughs> anyway, folks. Um, so, yeah, I've got two items. First one, what I'm going to be doing, boom! We've got limited edition frosted strawberry, naturally and artificially flavored donuts. Or donuts. Uh, I mean, I guess for all intents and purposes, you got six mini donuts, like the little chocolate ones you usually get, except these ones are, I guess, strawberry flavored. Which is holiday for reason, because it's red. Kind of a pinkish, so... Pinkish is the the color of uh, of Valentine's Day. So, sure, let's go with that. Oh man, hostess, hostess, hostess. I do like hostess, though. I'm not gonna lie. Regardless of what you may think about the Twinkie, you know, I mean, it's it's hostess has been there. You know, they've been through some ups and downs. Ain't no two ways about that. But I gotta say, folks, I definitely enjoy a. Uh, Aside from doing this crap, uh, one of my other nerd, uh, nerdy pursuits is uh, comic books. Uh, and especially ones, you know, not like super duper old ones because those are all incredibly expensive. But, you know, like 80s and, you know, 90s and stuff like that. Things that, you know, would have been around when I was a little kid. And uh, I do enjoy seeing, like, the hostess um, ads and stuff in those. Like, they're they're a lot of fun, so... Uh, the Hulk at one point goes over there, and like, there's already been a meme about this, so I'm not, I'm not going over there and coming up with anything original. But there's a meme, there's a, uh, there's one of them where like, the Hulk straight up kills some people for like some snack pies. So, anyway, folks, let's try the donut thing, the donut. Oh. All right, well, let me straight up honest with you, folks. That more or less tasted like just a normal freaking chocolate donut to me. Um, there was maybe like a little hint of some strawberry kind of at the end, but for the most part, it just tastes like the chocolate covering and then just the, you know, the normal cake. And it's, it's Valentine's colored.
I mean, it's there, but it's real faint. And it's honestly a shame, because, like, they obviously have, like, other fruit-flavored uh, things. So they know how to do it, but... Man. Amp up your game, hostess. The Hulk would not go over there and kill a bunch of gang members to get, his, to get himself uh, some of those donuts, regardless of what holiday it was. I can tell you that right now. So, I mean, they're still fine because they're still basically just normal donuts. Um, just with like a very light strawberry flavor that really just comes in at the very end. Uh, yeah, I mean, they're fine, uh, but definitely disappointing. You know, I, I was, you know, I was hoping for some good stuff there. I think maybe just the, the chocolate, uh, the chocolate coating on those. It's just too much for how light the, you know, the ch uh, strawberry flavor was. Like, they either need to go over there and bring that down or go over there and do the opposite and bring the strawberry up. But otherwise, I mean, it's a donut. Um, chances are you probably had one before. It's fine. I don't dislike donuts, but they're pretty far down the ladder as far as uh, hostess items I'm a big fan of. So, usually I only get donuts if it's, again, something like a limited item. They did have, like, some, like, frosted strawberry ones, though. Uh, but they weren't, like, or maybe they were raspberry or something. But they weren't chocolate. They were, like, you know, like, glazed kind of sugar, what the hell ever. Those were actually pretty solid. Yeah, I mean, it's fine. Anyway, folks, let's move on to the next one. Hopefully this one will be better. It's certainly a, a more favorable item for myself personally because, boom! We've got uh, dark chocolate ra raspberry cupcakes from uh, from Hostess with the the classic the classic Hostess cupcake. I think the the the, the Hostess cupcake. I mean, that's that's a standby. I mean, the Twinkie. I think for all intents and purposes, that's the Brad Pitt of you know of your Hostess. It keeps aging, but it never actually shows it, and. You know, it does a damn fine job of what it's supposed to do. There we go. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I can't imagine Brad Pitt would appreciate being... Oh. Oh, I can't imagine that would be something he would be fond of. Hopefully he wouldn't take it the wrong way. Not that it'll ever get to him. Interesting fun fact about Brad Pitt... He has a. Uh, I'm not gonna be. I'm not gonna be able to recall the actual name of the uh, the disorder, but he has a thing. Uh, it's like a mental thing where um, he can't. His brain can't like assemble faces the same way. Like it's basically like every time he looks at somebody, looks at their face, he sees something different. Um, it, it yeah, it's just it's a thing. I don't know. Exactly how that whole thing came about, but it's just an interesting Brad Pitt fun, uh, fun fact. But you didn't get one, of, or didn't think you were going to get one of those on a uh, Valentine's Day uh, hostess special. But uh, there you go, folks. I didn't even think that one. So we got a cupcake again. It's Valentine's colored. It's you know squishy and stuff like that. I actually did a uh, a long time ago, way before I was doing videos. I did a taste comparison between these. Uh, the little Debbie equivalent, and then, like, the, I think they're called Penguinos, maybe? Like, the, the Mexican equivalent of these. Uh, back when I used to work at the gas station, I just got super bored one night. And for, for me personally, I ended up going with the Hostess as being my personal favorite. I think Hostess uses, I don't know if they still do, I could check, but I'm not going to. Uh, believe they use, like, beef fat in their stuff. And, uh, yeah, I don't know, maybe, maybe that made the difference. Hey, anyway, let's try the thing. That's the secret to it, folks, is the fucking cream. Yes! Okay. This is exactly what I was hoping out of those. It's got... 
first of all, I enjoy the fact they use dark chocolate. Gives it a richer flavor than uh, the normal, uh, you know, the normal um, cupcakes. And you really can taste it, too. Like, it does... Dark chocolate has, like, a little bit more of a, a bitterness to it than, uh, you know, than milk chocolate does, where it's, you know, kind of almost overly sweet. And it plays really well with the raspberry flavor, which is very prominent. It's exactly what they should have done. Why? How did they get it so right with this and so wrong with those? Like, like is there a donut division and, like, you know, their main crew were just slacking off that day or something like that? Come on, man. Whoever's in charge of donuts, y'all need to go over there, get some, you know, get some trade statistics going and stuff like that, turn it into a whole online gambling thing. But y'all got to go over there and make some trades with the uh, with the cupcake folks because they kicking your ass. Why did I say it like that? I'm sorry. <laughs> Well, yeah, um, the first thing that comes through is, like, the raspberry, and I think, I'm guessing that the dark chocolate aspect is probably the top, uh, frosting, whereas I think the cake is probably the, the same cake as normal, so you get kind of the chocolatiness of the cake mixed with the raspberry, and then as the raspberry subsides a little bit, you get that nice little kind of dark chocolate bitterness, which plays off really well with the sweetness and the strength of the raspberry flavor. So, yeah, I mean, that is, I mean, it's not the best cupcake I've ever had. The best cupcake I ever had was a Guinness cupcake from a place called Burger Antics. Oh my God, that thing was insanely good. But, in terms of Hostess Cupcakes, this is a damn fine Hostess Cupcake. Oh. Is it better than the standby? I mean, the original is always going to be the original. But, I wouldn't mind it. If they made this one available all year round instead of just for Valentine's Day. I'm just saying. But yeah. I think that did a damn fine job. Um, as I mentioned in my, my previous video, the Snack Pies one for Valentine's Day. I will say this though. Though at least with, uh, with Hostess, I don't think they're being as presumptuous with it as the Snack Pies were. P please don't let this be your Valentine's gift to your special somebody, unless they're particularly super into this stuff. Then, I mean, do what you need to do. But, aim a little higher, folks. Even though this is good, still aim higher. But yeah, folks, so I, that's my thoughts on the limited edition Valentine's Day hostess things. You know, my, my final summation of them. You know, can I recommend them? The, ras the dark chocolate raspberry cupcakes, absolutely. I think these are perfectly good. I think they did exactly what they needed to do with it, and I think they nailed it. I really do. Again, not the greatest cupcake you're ever going to have, but it's a damn fine cupcake. Uh, you know, at least in terms like something you could grab at a gas station. With the strawberry frost, I mean, I, I personally... If for whatever reason, uh, your particular, um, you know, gas stations and supermarkets, what have you, don't carry these, you can achieve the same general, you know, taste sensation by just getting some chocolate ones. I genuinely think it's like 95% the exact same. So, like I said, I personally wouldn't, I wouldn't go out of my way for these. Not that I go out of my way for the raspberry cupcakes, but... Like, I, I live pretty close to the few gas stations. Uh, even if it was a nice day out, which it's not presently, I wouldn't walk to go get these. <laughs> Those, maybe. Maybe if I just had, you know, a particular craving or something. But 
these I'm not going to have a craving for. And if I did, again, I'd just go get some uh, normal chocolate donuts. So anyway, folks, that's going to be it for me. He could go over there and do five things for me before I go. Number one, you can go over there and have yourself a spectacular rest of your day. Number two, you could go over there and have yourself a phenomenal rest of your week. Number three, if you could go over there and have yourself a magnificent rest of your month. Number four, if you could go over there and have yourself a super califragilistic yalidocious year. We'll go with that one. Saved it. <laughs> and then uh, number five, folks, if you could go over there. Just uh, have yourself an absolutely spectacular Valentine's Day. Again, you know, this is Valentine's theme. Spend it with that special someone. And hey, folks, if you don't have that special someone in your life, you know, or maybe they're away or something like that, whatever the case may be, you know, don't uh, don't go over there and give yourself too much grief. You know, it's, it's uh, you know, there's plenty of folks out there and hey, maybe you're not, maybe you're just doing your, your own thing. You don't need a phone. That's cool too, folks. That's cool too. It's the wonderful aspect of life. So you can do all these things. I don't know why I keep, like I'm doing, I'm literally just holding this for no reason. It's, it's an energy drink. I got it from my cousin. Hey, Eric, if you happen to watch this. Um, I was on his podcast. Um, maybe... Yeah, okay, sure. Um, I don't know when I'm going to... I mean, I'm going to end up doing this around uh, Valentine's Day anyway. But, uh, hey, if, uh, my cousin Eric, he's got a great podcast called Feeding Curiosity. It is nothing at all like this bullshit that I do here. It's actually, you know, pretty professional. And he has on, like, scientists and stuff like that. And you needed to fill a slot. And I, I happen to be his cousin, so... And he gave me an energy drink. So anyway, uh, and then final two things you could do for me, folks. Number one, you could try to bring some positivity in the world. It's very important. Not always, you know, capable of being the case, but sometimes. And, you know, especially, hey, you know, with, like I said, Valentine's Day and stuff like that, be extra positive if you can. But if you can't, try not to be an asshole. You know, usually doable. Usually doable, but... Not all the time. I know at least for myself personally, just I can't always achieve that. So, you know, but try to try to keep it level. And then final thing, folks, if you could do the thing, whatever the thing is for you, I want you to go out and do that thing. Whether it's Valentine's related or maybe you're over there and you're single and you're just like, I don't give a damn about Valentine's Day. I'm going to go bowling. Go bowling. Get some nachos. Tell, tell them that Brandon Wenzel said that it's okay for you to be single on Valentine's Day and to bowl and get nachos. They'll know exactly who you're talking about. All right, folks, that's going to be it for me. So uh, y'all have a wonderful day, wonderful holiday, and uh, regardless, like I said, what you're doing, whatever, just keep kicking that ass, folks. Bye!